Hey guys, so today I'm coming to you with a color demo and guess a review for the Lancome Nude Miracle. That's what it looks like there. It comes in a glass bottle, frosted glass bottle, with an eyedropper. It's a very liquidy texture, so if it had a pump it probably squirt all over the place, so it's not best to have a pump with a foundation like that. It's very similar to the Armani Maestro foundation, which looks like that there also has the eyedropper in a frosted glass bottle. The Armani comes in 18 shades while the Nude Miracle uh, currently right now only comes in 14 shades. So I actually looked at this a few weeks ago at the same time that I was looking at the Dior Star Foundation. I actually had gone to Sephora looking for the Dior Star and they didn't have it so I went to the department store and while at the department store I stopped at the Lancome counter looking for the Nude Miracle and they said it was exclusive to Sephora so I had to go back to Sephora to go and try to get color match. So the color that I was matched with at the time was the 500W. So I should add Lancome does not have 460W and 470C yet in this particular foundation and I've tried Lancome in the past and those were my closest color matches. I don't actually own any Lancome foundation because I didn't like the way the finish was. It was kind of matte. I think it was a 24 hour foundation which was very drying to my skin and I already have dry skin so that was not an option for me. So this is the 500W which I think is definitely too deep for me. The Sephora cast member at the Sephora in New Jersey where I tried this out the first time said that it was much too deep for me but I keep reading reviews that the color kind of I guess molds to your skin. I'm just going to use my fingers. So I don't know I guess if it's too dark maybe it can't possibly mold to my skin texture or my skin complexion but we will see what it looks like. I tried it out and I thought it was too dark but so many people complimented me on it the day that I was trying it out in the Sephora that I went ahead and left it on for a little bit. It kind of gives me a sun-kissed look, I think. I'm not using a lot. I've seen some other reviews on YouTube and people tend to use a full eyedropper of this foundation and I just don't want to use that much. I don't really have a lot to cover. But I do want to go ahead and make sure that I get at least one full layer on. It's a very oily texture but it dries to like a powder finish, kind of like the YSL that I had tried, the Fusion Ink that I tried a couple of weeks ago. Of course I'll add photos so you can see what it looks like before and after. It sets very fast, like I still feel, as I'm doing this now, it feels very oily, but definitely in the places up here where I put it at first, it kind of already feels dry. And it hasn't really been that long. So I'm going to go ahead and buff this out with a foundation brush. And I'm just going to use my Delium Tools number 957. So I think I could work with this color even though it's slightly dark. Probably with the right powder it will work. I guess I should try to get around my eyes a little bit, huh? It's supposed to be light to medium coverage. I feel like it probably is light coverage. It feels very lightweight, like you really don't feel it on your skin. There's actually a version of this that's been out for a while, the Lancome Miracle Air Detente. And it's in the exact same bottle, just the name is different. And it's got the same eyedropper eyedropper application method instead of a pump. So that is color 500W. I'm going to add some photos so you can see what it looks like. I agree that it is a little too deep for me and I'm hoping that they do add a 460W or a 470C because I think those colors would suit me better. But if I had to choose between this one and the 500N, which I also will sample for you, I probably would go with this one because I feel like the 500N might make me look a little ashy, but of course with the right powder I could work with that one too. So I'll add some photos so you can see what the 500W looks like and then I will come back and try the 450N, which is the only other color option for me right now, unless they add some other shades. I'll be right back. So this is the Lancome Nude Miracle 500W. Just wanted to let you see what it looks like outside in the daylight. 
This foundation does have SPF, so it does have some flashback. So if you are going to be doing flash photography, I wouldn't recommend it. But as you can see, it dries very quickly. Like there's nothing, you can't feel it at all. Like there's nothing coming off. There's nothing coming off on my hands. And it has kind of a powdery finish. So if that's something that you like, you might enjoy this foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and try the 450N. Okay, so I'm back and I have cleaned my face. So I'm just wearing my Ember Elise moisturizer. And by the way, I don't use this because it's some fabulous moisturizer for dry skin or anything like that. I use it because it doesn't have any crazy ingredients that will break me out. It can be used as a primer, moisturizer, and you can also use it to take your makeup off. So when I'm traveling, I can use this instead of having to take so many extra things on flights. So it's not like it's some fabulous miracle product. It's got a lot of uses and that's why I like it. So I'm now going to try the 450N. The 500W was a little too deep for me, and the next color, the only color option that they have that was even close, is the 450N. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this one again just using my fingers. And you can already see the huge color difference there. Probably add some photos so you can see the color differences side by side. I think this dries pretty quickly, so you do need to work fast. It sets, like, really fast. It feels really good on your hand, by the way. It feels like just kind of like a simple oil, like if you use oils for your hair or anything like that. It feels very much like when you oil your hair. Well, to me at least it does. And this color I feel like is too light. But like I said, or if I haven't said, I've read reviews that the color adjusts. So maybe this will look different from how I thought it did initially when I tried it in the store. So yeah, as I mentioned, this comes in now with an eyedropper, and I don't know how much what I have on my face would be considered half an eyedropper. I definitely know it's not a full eyedropper. I feel like this color is way too light, and it gives like that ashy look. So I'm just using my fingers, and I'm gonna go ahead and use a brush to blend it out. And although it is too light, I possibly could make this work with the right powder, but I don't know. I haven't tried that yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my e.l.f. flat top powder brush. Sorry, that's just my phone vibrating. And the lip gloss that I was wearing with the 500W and that I'm going to use again is the Stellar Mercier. Uh, what is this one called? It's a little mini that I have and it is called Rose. So yeah, 400N looks much too light in my opinion. So I don't know that it's really an option for me. But I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of video outside and also add some photos so you can see what it looks like. One second. So this is the Lancome Nude Miracle 450N outside in the daylight. I definitely feel like this color is a bit too light. And again, they don't make a 460W or 470C in this foundation as of yet. So I'm going to leave it on for a little while to see if the color changes because I'm told for some people the color did oxidize a bit to blend in with their skin tone. So I'll try back in about an hour and see what happens. So it's been a little over 30 minutes since I applied the 450N. And as you can see it is still too light. It didn't really oxidize and change colors on me. So that is what it looks like in the daylight after applying the 450N. So this is still the Lancome Nude Miracle 450N. It is definitely too light for me. And as I mentioned previously, Lancome does not yet make this foundation in a 460W or 470C, which are better colors for me and some of their other foundations. So yeah, this is really a miss for me. I actually don't like the powdery finish of it. Like picking out a foundation, I know you guys are like, how many foundations can one person possibly try? But there is so much that goes into picking a foundation that I've learned over the last 10 months of trying out makeup. You've got to find a color match. You have to like the formula. Is it cream, liquid to powder, powder to liquid, and like the Iman one. Uh, you know, creamy, whatever, just different formulations, and then do you like the finish? And I don't care for this powdery finish. I prefer a more dewy look, or at least kind of more radiant skin look. 
not necessarily a you know glossy bright oily look but I do prefer something a little more radiant than this because you can have you know demi matte velvet matte satin matte all sorts of different types of finishes and I do not prefer this powdery finish so even if they did have my color I probably wouldn't choose this foundation because I just don't prefer it I have dry skin and I don't like it to look dry so color matches not really a, a hit for me with 500W or 450N but if you are in between those two shades you might want to also wait for them to come out with some more color options for you and again this is very similar to Giorgio Armani Maestro which has 18 shades while the Lancome currently only has 14 so if you do like this kind of powdery finish it's a very similar formula from what I can tell you can shoot for the Giorgio Armani Maestro feel free to ask any questions thanks